today we are here at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. <laughs> yeah. I am so excited because you and I get to learn about planes. Whoa. <laughs> planes are awesome. Yeah. They're things that people have built so you can fly in the sky. <laughs> hey, can you think of something else that flies in the sky? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Birds. Woo. <laughs> Whoa, I think planes are so cool because they let people fly just like birds. And today, we get to see some really awesome planes. Come on, let's take a closer look. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This plane is so big. It's called the Short Sutherland MR5. Wow, and check it out. It has massive propellers. <laughs> Yeah, two on each wing, two on one wing, and two on the other wing. Two and two means four propellers. What? <laughs> Not so many. <laughs> Whoa. And this plane is really big. Yeah, it's 30 feet tall. Oh, <laughs> and 85 feet long. <laughs> yeah. And it has a wingspan of 112 feet. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, and do you notice anything interesting about this plane? Hmm. Yeah, it's the bottom of the plane. Hmm, it looks kind of like a boat. And do you notice the windows? <laughs> yeah, the windows are circles. And maybe you've seen those on a boat, or a submarine before. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why that is? That's because this is a seaplane. <laughs> yeah. And there are two kinds of seaplanes. There are float planes and flying boats. <laughs> yeah. A float plane is just a regular plane with floaties on the bottom. But a flying boat is a boat on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whoa, <laughs> it's made of metal. It's so musical. <laughs> Whoa, that is awesome. It's really important that the Short Sutherland MR5 is a flying boat because it was built a long time ago. Yeah, and it would fly really far distances across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> yeah, and there weren't a lot of places for it to land on the land, so it could just land in the water. <laughs> this is so awesome. Hey, let's go take a look inside. Come on. Let's keep exploring. <laughs> oh. helicopter. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> this is fun. Driving the helicopter. Whoa. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, it's so bright and yellow. Yeah. Whoa. Look at it. Whoa. It's a real life rescue helicopter. Yeah. Whoa. 
It is so cool and so bright. Yeah, it's the color yellow. <laughs> yeah, and it's really important that it's a bright color like yellow. So if you need rescuing, you can see it. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, and check it out. <laughs> this looks familiar. It looks like the same kinds of floaties on a seaplane. <laughs> this is in case it needs to land, it can float in the water. <laughs> wow, you see up there? Look, it's a really big propeller. Whoa! <laughs> Woo, yeah! A propeller on a rescue helicopter is so strong and so fast, so it can go through any kinds of weather. If it's really windy, or really rainy. <laughs> It'll be able to make it through the storm. Wow, oh. hmm. and what's this? <laughs> There's a duck. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duck. Hello, Blippi. Hi, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing just fine, just being a duck. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, no way. It's the cockpit of the helicopter. Yeah, and you see there's a window. That window's really important because the pilot can look out and make sure the rescue is going great. <laughs> Whoa, and look over here. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. The most important part of a helicopter rescue mission. Yeah, this is the winch. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. The winch is what someone would clip onto. Yeah, so they could drop down from the helicopter and save someone. Yeah, they just grab on tight and whoa, <laughs> up they go back into the helicopter. Whoa, <laughs> and once they were inside, there would be a doctor and maybe a snack. <laughs> so they would be nice and safe. Wow, look at it. There's beds and lots of seats and floaty devices. <laughs> Whoa, helicopters are awesome. <laughs> Free -re -re. Whoa, look at where we are. We're inside of a hangar. Yeah, a hangar is a place where they store all kinds of jets and airplanes. Whoa, and look at this jet. Let's go look at the cockpit. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This is awesome. This jet is called the Tornado. <laughs> Whoa, and it goes really fast. Yeah, look at it. This right here is the cockpit. That's the place where the pilot sits to steer the plane. Ring, ring. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. There's another seat right behind the pilot. Yeah, that's where the navigator sits. And he makes sure that you're going in the right direction. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big and so cool. <laughs> hey, and look here. It has really big wings. Whoa, huh. And it looks like the wings can open up. <laughs> yeah, they open up so the plane and do different things. When they're really open, really wide, it helps the plane be nice and stable to land. But if this jet wants to go really, really fast, they close up, woo, to zoom away. <laughs> yeah, and that's really helpful because the tornado likes to fly low. Yeah, really low. Sometimes as low as a tree. Whoa. <laughs> well, we better go see some more jets, come on. <laughs> There are so many planes and jets here in the hangar. Yeah. Whoa, and look at the back of the tornado. Whoa. <laughs> this is where the jet engines are. Yeah, look. This one doesn't have an engine in it right now. But look, this one does. <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> so shiny. Yeah, these jets can go so fast. 
<laughs> oh. Ooh, let's go see if we can find some more. I think this is another jet. Yeah, this jet right here is called a buccaneer. Yeah, a buccaneer. Do you know why it's called that? Hmm, I wonder why. Well, I bet it's called that because these planes take off from aircraft carriers. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what an aircraft carrier is? Yeah, they're really big boats that store lots of planes. And do you see this wing? Yeah, look, the wing, they fold. <laughs> yeah, they fold just like your arm can fold or a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, they fold so you can fit lots of planes tight together on an aircraft carrier. Yeah, and look, it has really big wheels and tires. <laughs> Kinda like a car. But that helps the plane land nice and safe and roll smoothly down the runway. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. <laughs> Ooh, I think I see another plane, come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> wow, this plane is awesome. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Do you see the plane hanging above me? Yeah! It's called a Harrier! <laughs> yeah! A Harrier! Whoa! It's also called a jump plane! Hmm! A jump plane? <laughs> I like to jump. Will you jump with me? Okay! Let's jump like a jump plane! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun jumping together. Do you know why it's called a jump plane? Yeah, that's because it has really powerful engines that can change direction. Yeah, instead of going out of the back of the airplane, they can go <laughs> under the airplane and it can take off straight up like a helicopter. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, I think I see one last plane that we should look at. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see it? Hmm, do you see another plane? Hmm, I see one too. It's enormous, it's gigantic. It's the Hercules. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. It has a really big nose. Oh yeah. That's what the front of a jet or plane is called. The nose. <laughs> yeah. And this one has a really big nose. Look, it's the color black. <laughs> Hercules planes are so cool because they're so big. They're so big that they can even transport and carry people and vehicles. <laughs> Whoa, that's really big. This plane can carry cars and trucks? What? <laughs> wow, these jets are so cool. We should keep exploring. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, Mach 2. <laughs> yeah. It's so much fun riding in the cockpit of a plane. <laughs> uh, but this plane looks a little small. Hey, why don't you and I try to find a real cockpit? Whoa, and a really big plane. <laughs> Come on, let's keep exploring. Whoa, look at what I'm wearing. This is an actual flight jacket. <laughs> yeah. This is what a pilot would wear if they were flying in an airplane. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And check it out. Come on. <laughs> it's one of my favorite airplanes. It's a Spitfire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. And there's a person. Let's go say hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Chris. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Chris. Whoa, could you tell me a little bit about this airplane? Yeah, this is a Spitfire. Whoa. It's one of the most beautiful aircraft we have here. <laughs> Whoa, I love this Spitfire. It's so cool. And 
It's camouflage, whoa! <laughs> is it green and gray on the top and bottom? Yeah, it's a little bit blue on the, on the, on the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. I bet that's so that if you're on the ground, you can't see it in the sky. That's right. Whoa, <laughs> blending in. <laughs> uh, Chris, would it be okay if I got in the Spitfire? Mm, okay. <gasps> no way! We get to sit in the cockpit of a real life Spitfire? <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. I'm in the cockpit of a Spitfire. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. Whoa. Chris, what are all these buttons and controls? Yeah, there's so many buttons, aren't there? Yeah. So they tell you like how fast you're going or how much fuel you have or even where you're going. Whoa, that's so cool. It looks like there's all these different dials and levers and buttons. Oh, and is this the steering wheel? Yeah, it's called a spade grip. It looks a bit like a small wheel. Whoa, <laughs> spade grip. And does that turn the plane left and right? Yeah, that makes it go up and down. If you want to go left and right, you have to press those pedals at the bottom. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, there are pedals so you can move the plane left and right with your feet. <laughs> Whoa, hey, and what's this with my left hand? What's that? What do you think it is? Well, it says, oh, <laughs> I see what that says, throttle. Wow. So that makes it go faster. Whoa, <laughs> faster and slower. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Oh, and what's this over here do? Oh, it looks like it's connected to, to wheels. Why does it need wheels? Yeah, so if you're in the air, you can pull the lever and the wheels go up. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm ready to be a pilot. <laughs> well, thanks so much for teaching me about the Spitfire, Chris. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy the flight. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Whoa, I feel like a real life pilot. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a flight simulator. We've seen so many cool planes and now we get to feel what it's like to fly in one. <laughs> yeah. And this simulator simulates, or makes it feel like, they're really ultra low flights. So you're in a plane really low to the ground. And we're gonna be exploring the country, Wales. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. today here at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. We got to see airplanes and jets and rescue helicopters. <laughs> I even got to sit in the cockpit of a Spitfire plane. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. Okay. B L I P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Did you see what I was just doing? <laughs> I was acting like a dinosaur. <laughs> That's so silly. Yeah, and today we're at Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History in Santa Barbara, California. And I have a great idea. Why don't you and I go inside and see if we can find some dinosaurs? Yeah, let's go. Wow, I'm having a lot of fun. Whoa, <gasps> look at this. Prehistoric forest? Wow, prehistoric? Yeah, that was a really long time ago. And actually, at a point of prehistoric times, there was dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Do you love dinosaurs? 
Yeah! Did you hear that? Yeah, that was a dinosaur roaring. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh. What is this? Wow, looks like a really colorful book. I wonder what's inside. Whoa! <laughs> All right. <gasps> wow, there's a letter, a message. It says, find these five dinosaurs in the prehistoric forest. We're there right now. Whoa! Then choose your favorite dino and color it. Whoa, cool! All right, looks like we have to find these dinosaurs. Whoa, cool. There's three dinosaurs. Ooh, four and five. All right, let's find all five of these dinosaurs and then we'll color one. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> dinosaur just roared! So cool! Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Hmm, it does have plates on its back. Huh, I wonder if it's in this book. All right, is it this dinosaur? No, let's see. Oh, what about this one? Definitely not. Could be this one. Close, but that's not it. Huh, what about that one? No. <gasps> is it this one? Yeah! You can tell by all those plates. Oh, I know what kind of dinosaur this is. It's a stegosaurus. Yeah, I could tell because the plates on its back. Every stegosaurus have at least 17 plates. Yeah, or more. So cool. And they actually are herbivores. That means they eat plants. I like eating plants too. <laughs> yeah, like lettuce or Salad and spinach, yum! So healthy. <laughs> okay, hey, we should probably check this box off so we can keep track of what dinosaurs we find. All right, made a little X right there. Wow, perfect. Whoa, cool. All right, let's keep exploring and see what other dinosaurs we can find. Yeah, <laughs> see ya. Please do not touch or feed the dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, I definitely won't touch or feed the dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out, another dinosaur. Whoa, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Well, it looks like it has some horns. Oh, there's a baby right there. Hello, hey. All right, let's see if we can find the dinosaur in the book. Is it this dinosaur? Oh, yeah! You're right, it is! All right, we need to mark it off right here. Yeah! You know what kind of dinosaur that is? Yeah, it's a Triceratops. Do you know how we know? Yeah, come here, I'll show you. Wow! All right, do you see the horns? Yeah, let's count them together. One, two, Three horns. Yeah, its name is Triceratops. Tri, T-R-I. Tri means three. Yeah, so this is a Triceratops. Wow, good job. <laughs> well, let's keep exploring and see what other kind of dinosaurs we can find. Yeah. Check it out, another dinosaur. Wow, this dinosaur looks so cool. Well, hey, let's see if this dinosaur is in our book. Whoa, hey, dinosaur. <laughs> All right, okay, well, it's not this one. Yeah, because this one's the Triceratops, remember? Yeah. All right, what about one of these two? Is it this one? Definitely not. What about this one? Oh, yeah, it does look like this one. Good job, we found another dinosaur. All right, let's check it off. 
put a little X right there. Wow, awesome. <laughs> well, this dinosaur does look really cool, but I don't know the name of this dinosaur. Huh, I wonder what kind of dinosaur this is. Oh, hey, Hi. how are you? I'm Jenna, I'm the director of education. Wow, that's cool. So that means you know a lot about dinosaurs? I do know a lot about dinosaurs. Wow, well my friends and I were just trying to think of this dinosaur's name. Do you know its name? I do, this is an Eoplocephalus. Eoplocephalus, that's hard to say. Wow, do you know any cool facts about this dinosaur? I know a lot of cool facts about this dinosaur. Wow. It's covered in armor from its head all the way down to its tail. Wow. It's got spikes on its back, horns on its head, and even a club tail. Oh yeah, the club tail. Ooh, and the spikes and the horns. Wow, <laughs> and the really thick armor skin. Why does this dinosaur have all of that? Yeah, this dinosaur has all of those features to protect it from predators. Whoa, that's really cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching us the name of this dinosaur and some fun facts. Is there any other dinosaurs that you could show us? Oh, absolutely. All right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, another dinosaur. <laughs> Wow, this is a really cool looking dinosaur. Wow, should we check to see if it's in the book? Let's check. All right, <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, well, it's not this dinosaur. We already found that dinosaur. Ooh, is it this dinosaur? No, okay, we found that one. Let's see, what about this dinosaur? Oh yeah, it is! Wow, good job! Thanks so much for helping us find this dinosaur. All right, let's check it off. There we go. Wow, that's awesome. Well, what kind of dinosaur is this? This is a Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Wow, that's a hard name to say. And what's that thing on its head? Is that a horn? It's actually not a horn. Oh. It's actually a sinus. A sinus? Like it connects to the nose? It connects to its nose. Wow, why do they have that? Well, they use it almost like a trombone. They suck in air and then they blow it out as a really loud, deep sound. Oh, I know what a trombone is. <laughs> cool. Whoa, and look at its mouth, it's really wide. Yeah, it's so it can hold hundreds of teeth. Oh, really? Like really strong, big, sharp, massive teeth? Well, actually more of a lot of little teeth. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What does it eat with its teeth? It eats lots and lots of plants, a lot of plants. Wow, really? And do they then grow in and then stay there forever? Well, no, they're constantly losing their teeth, kind of like little kids do. And then new teeth grow in and they eat more plants. Wow, that is really cool. Thank you so much for teaching us about these two dinosaurs. <laughs> You're welcome, Blippi. I've got more dinosaur things to do today. All right, <laughs> see you later. Thank you so much. Wow, that was really nice of her. All right, so we found four dinosaurs, but we need to find five dinosaurs. So there must be one more dinosaur around here. <gasps> Another dinosaur. Wow, this dinosaur looks so big and furious. <laughs> All right, let's see if this dinosaur is in our book. All right, it's not that one. <laughs> okay, is it this one? Yeah, it's our last dinosaur. Good job. All right, let's check it off. There we go. Whoa, all right. Hey, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Yeah, it's a T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. So big and fierce, but cute teeny little arms. Whoa. <laughs> and do you see its teeth? Yeah, they are very big and very sharp. Yeah, and they're actually shaped like a banana. Whoa. Wow, T-Rexes are so cool because their jaws are so strong. They're actually the most strongest jawed dinosaur that we know of. Wow, and actually, what we think now, the juveniles, the teenagers of T-Rexes, actually might have had some feathers. 
Wow, T-Rexes are so cool. <laughs> All right, now let's go pick a dinosaur and color it in. This is gonna be fun, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, wasn't that so much fun learning about those five dinosaurs? Wow, and they were all so big, and it was cool to learn about what they eat. Whoa, and their teeth. <laughs> all right, let's uh, decide which dinosaur we should color. <laughs> all right, let's see, the Triceratops, or one of these two. Huh, let's see, how about I was supposed to pick my favorite dinosaur out of these five. The T-Rex is pretty cool, but I don't know if I can pick my favorite because they're all so cool. Well, hey, why don't we color the Stegosaurus? So then we can color the plates all different colors. Wow. All right, first let's take the green one. Ooh, here you go, Stegosaurus. Ooh, nice green plate. Ooh, how about red? Whoa, there you go. Whoa, this is gonna be a very colorful Stegosaurus. Yeah, I used orange, one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> oh, we'll use my second other favorite color. Yeah, blue. There we go. Oh, so colorful. Yeah, do you remember what Stegosauruses eat? Yeah, plants, because they're herbivores. Ooh, how about pink? <laughs> there you go, yeah, pink. Ooh, and let's do the last plate as purple. Whoa, look at that. Now that is a colorful Stegosaurus. All right, last but not least, a green scribble. Wee! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we take green and draw a plant right here? Yeah, like it's eating. Ooh, there you go. Kind of hard to see. <laughs> wow. What a great Stegosaurus. Very colorful. They didn't look like this back then, but it still looks really cool. Whoa! That was so much fun learning about dinosaurs with you. I sure do love dinosaurs. What magnificent creatures they were. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah, B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, well, I'm gonna keep this book right here so then the next person that comes here, they can color one of their favorite dinosaurs. Yeah, all right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippy, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa, so many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right, let's put them on their side and then Let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow. The half full water bottle 
totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down, the speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Whoa! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. Flying 
way up high. Some airplanes can land on water, but most land on landing strips. So versatile. Some airplanes fly just for fun. Some fly for business trips. Business or pleasure. You can make an airplane out of paper. Throw it in the air and watch it go. I love to look up and see its wings waving down at me. much fun learning about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>
and it's really important to put the harness on. So if you're doing the ropes course and you fall off, the harness will get you. Woo! <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, so we'll put this harness on, kind of like a belt. Put in our left leg, woo! And then our right leg. And do the harness dance. <laughs> yeah, good job. And now you just tighten the harness like this, just like a belt. Now, the next part of safety equipment we don't want to forget about are the clips. The clips are going to help us clip onto the ropes. Yeah. So we'll take this loop and we'll put it through the clips. <laughs> yeah. And now we're all ready to start practicing. <laughs> hey, I think it's time to go on the ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That's pretty high up. Maybe it's a better idea to start off with something a little lower to the ground first, and then we'll do that next. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these cool stools <laughs> and ropes. Yeah, they're all different colors. Do you know what colors all these ropes are? Yeah, this is the color red. We have the color black, ooh, <laughs> and this one's one of my favorite, the color blue, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, all of these different obstacles that I'm gonna have to walk on look a little bit wobbly. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that's okay. You and I can use all of our balance to stay nice and upright so we won't fall. <laughs> okay, we're all ready to go on the ropes course, <laughs> yeah. Look at this. This one has a bunch of fossils for feet, for little steps to step on. <laughs> Boing, woo, wee, woo. <laughs> Whoa, this one's really bouncy. Let's keep going, come on. is so much fun. Hey, I think we've done such a good job that we can try the one all the way at the top. Let's go. This is gonna be so much fun. Wow, that was really tiring, but I'm excited for another one. Oh, hey, look, it's my really good friend. Hey, Jake. Hey, buddy. Did you know that Jake is a pro athlete? Yeah, <laughs> he's really good at all kinds of sports and really cool things like ropes courses. <laughs> yeah. So is it really hard being a pro athlete? It is, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's cool. I bet you have to eat a lot of really healthy, yummy vegetables. <laughs> vegetables are important. One of my favorite foods is Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, ooh. One of my favorite foods is broccoli, <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you have a favorite food that you like to eat? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty yummy food. <laughs> hmm. Well, this has been really fun doing this first rubs course, but I think I'm ready to try the one way up there. Whoa. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I got a timer, we can time it if you want. Yeah, that's a great idea. How about Jake and I? time doing the ropes course and see who wins. It'll be a flippy competition. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so who should go first? Why don't you go for it? Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go first while Jake times me and then he'll go next. Come on.
Yeah, I did it. That was so much fun. That was really fast. That was awesome. Whoa, it was really tricky up there, clipping into all the different parts, and it took a lot of balance. <laughs> it was so much fun, I almost made a full circle. Well, actually, this ropes course is not a circle because it has six sides. Hey, do you know what a six-sided shape is called? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's called a hexagon. Ooh. <laughs> well, that was really fun, but Jake, I think it's your time to go up to the top. All right, here's the timer. Okay, I got the timer. On your mark, get set, and go! <laughs> I can't wait to see how fast Jake can do the ropes course. Be because you're a pro athlete and practice a lot. <laughs> Great job! You're the winner! <laughs> yeah! Bye, Jake! See you, Blippi! Woo! <laughs> hey! I have a really good idea. How about you and I race? Okay, get the time on the clock started. Let's race! Hello! <laughs> Over here! Woo! <laughs> I'm up here! Hello! <laughs> Looks like you found me! Okay, here we go! Down the slide! Woo! Look like you beat me. <laughs> that was really fun. Whoa. <laughs> Good job racing with me. Whoa, look over here. Hey, do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited because these are so much fun. I can't wait to find out what we're going to build together. Oh, look at the clock. Hey, I bet you and I get to build a clock today. <laughs> yeah, let's get started. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> look, we're here at the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna make an awesome clock. <laughs> okay, well first, what do we need to make a clock? Hmm, oh, I know, a circle. Whoa, it looks like this paper plate is gonna be a great circle. Okay, and we're gonna need a pen because clocks have numbers. Yeah, hmm. 12 numbers. So first, we wanna put the numbers down. And a good way to write down the numbers so they're all in the right space is to start at the top. The top of a clock has the number 12. <laughs> hmm. The bottom of the clock has the number six. Ooh. <laughs> And then, to the right of the clock, we add the number 
three. And to the left of the clock, we have the number nine. <laughs> well, there's a couple more numbers on a clock, so I'm gonna fill in the rest. We have all the numbers of the clock. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But I think our clock is still missing some things. Hmm. We have the numbers, but what points to the numbers? Oh yeah, hands. <laughs> hands. A clock has two hands, and we have some really cool paper here. My favorite colors, orange and blue. And all you need to do is cut out little arrows. Okay. You take our little arrows, we're gonna put them on the clock, then we just pin them in. Now that we've finished our clock, let's see if we can tell some time. Hmm. Well, we have our big hand and our little hand. What does three o'clock look like? Yeah, just like that. A little hand is on the three. What does six o'clock look like? The little hand, we move that again, and it's on the six. Hmm, I wonder what nine o'clock looks like. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what nine o'clock looks like. A little hand is on the nine, big hand is on the 12. <laughs> that was so much fun telling time with you. <laughs> Yay! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! These circles are the same shape as a clock. And that gave me a really good idea. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I think you and I should do a really fun dance. <laughs> Just like a clock. We'll use the tick-tock of the clock for a really cool beat and the hands of a clock, woo, <laughs> for some sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah! Okay, step one, we're gonna make our hands like this, three o'clock. We'll move them to six o'clock, then back to three o'clock, and then to nine o'clock. <laughs> and step number two is have lots of fun and be really silly. <laughs> I'm so excited to dance together. Let's go. <laughs> Is it? Three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo. Double time. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today. <laughs> we learned about all kinds of things, like going slow means it will take a really long time, and going fast won't take much time at all. <laughs> it was also really fun learning about time and clocks, and that clocks have two hands and 12 numbers. <laughs> yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon. I'm going to go play in the ball pit. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Bye-bye!